Buddy, good night. How are you? Good are night. You good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you. you. Oh. Yeah, very good. Thank you so much for being today's class. I know that has been really tough, right, to be on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how was the traffic? Or horrible. <laughs> horrible, right? Ugh. Have you just arrived home or do I arrived just uh, 30 minutes ago? Uh, uh, my work. Uh-huh. What time do you, uh, 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 do you, do you uh, arrive back home? It's uh, 17 uh, <laughs> 50%. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, so you just uh, basically works like um, sometimes or some days uh, from home and mm -hmm. some days uh, inside. Okay. Uh -huh. You can say W of H, which is work from home. Let me just, let me just put you the, the abbreviation. W F H. I'm sorry. No, it was my mistake. W F H. That's the way it is. Yes. W F H. The second one. You you just said sometimes I do teacher W F H, and we know that is work from home, <laughs> or home okay. office. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you said you uh I gotta be outside, so that means that you're physically in the office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. So that's that's another way to say it. That's good, but you made a really good effort to be in here. You know what? I, I was speaking with my husband, and basically we were talking about that from now on, the traffic is going to be horrible mm -hmm. for the rest of the month. Uh, uh, yeah, yesterday, an accident in... Really? I, I am in front in a moment precise. <gasps> really? Uh -huh. so, so you were basically... At the time that that accident happened, Ooh. but nothing oh. happened to you. Oh, yeah. Not only the impress, but were you on the bus yes. walking? Yes. And then in the bus, on yeah, the bus? Or, or the uh, the Uber. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. So you were, with, but you were basically on an automobile on the, on a, on a, on a transportation. Uh, oh, both. Uh -huh. both. Wow, I'm oh. sorry for that. No, you know what? I didn't. I I don't remember that accident. What happened? Yes. Oh, oh it fue un cabezal. Eh, le dio vuelta a una ruta a una buseta de la 44. For real? Como siete, seis o siete vehículos. ¿sí? Wow. Did somebody get injured or no? No. 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 Oh, thanks two, God. Two, two, uh, Golpeados, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Tú what? Uh, 15 golpeados y dos, dos que estaban bastante golpeados. Oh, 15 people that get injured, but two of them were really, really uh, hard and injured. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry to hear that. Wow. Oof. Y yo go to uh, Santa Elena. You went, uh, you, were, you were going to Santa Elena? You? Uh, no, solo iba a recoger unos documentos. Ah, you were just basically to ask for some documentation. Uh -huh. My wow. work was showing how. Oh, my God, I'm sorry that oh, it yeah. happens. It's horrible to see those kind of situation, right? Especially because that happens in like a seconds. Yeah. Oh, you know, <laughs> I know that. Ugh. I, I have been in a traffic, uh, like that way, uh, an accident, but nothing happens to me, of course. But I have seen it, and that is horrible. You know what? Like, um, I think like six years ago, I almost became widow. You know what widow is? Widow. What is widow? widow? Do you know what widow is? What is widow? Widow, that means viuda. Uh, yo, viuda. No, <laughs> me, me. Uh because my husband was um he was working in Santa Elena he was coming from his work but he was coming from Santa Elena to La Cima right yes. and and the other car was from La Cima to Santa Elena yes. almost getting to the um, roundabout you know what is roundabout mm -hmm. the roundabout of Price Mart, the roundabout is el uh, redondel roundabout 
Yes. Exactly. So do you, do you remember that in the middle we have like a, like a coconut trees, right? Palmeras, coconut mm -hmm. trees. Ah, sí, sí. And, yeah. And I don't know what happened, but my husband was driving and he was with a co-worker next to him, but he didn't notice. And the co-worker, yes, he just called his name and asked him, please stop. Because with the other car that was coming from so Sima to Price Mart, I don't know what happened, the direction, I don't know what's going on, but he was like doing like this, rolling, 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 rolling. And if not because oh, the coconut oh. tree stopped the rolling, it was like in one meter. The mm -hmm. car was here and my and my husband was here, like this. Oh. Exactly. So he was mm -hmm. a basically he turned the the the, the street. From he was left side and he ended up in no he was right side and ended up left side, and mm -hmm. my husband was like this and the other car was like this with the wheels up, but thanks God nothing happens. The boys were okay. My husband I remember that he told me that he went out of the car and helped it to turn the car, because they were driving they were driving good, but I don't know mm -hmm. how, I don't know what happened with the direction, and he was rolling. And oh. transfer from one rail to another one. So if okay. you imagine if my husband was driving alone and he didn't uh, pay attention to the co-worker's uh, attention or ask him, please stop, maybe the car will be on my husband's car. Oh, Yes, so, so, so you, got, you cannot imagine and that happens like this. And my husband, I remember that once he told me, I don't know why they have put the coconut tree on the middle uh, of those rails because there's no sense, he said. But after that accident, he said, you know what? I'm really thankful because of those coconut trees because that those coconut trees basically stop the, the force of the cars rolling. Oh, of course, the coconut tree got broke, right? Like this. <sighs> but that one is stop the other car. Because if, if there were not a coconut trees, the car will be like with all power, right? Rolling, 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 rolling. And maybe we'll hit my husband. We'll, ha we'll have hidden my husband uh, car. Can you imagine? And that happens in seconds. Difficult. It's really, really difficult and horrible. So yeah, that's why, yeah, you could be on the bad time, on the bad time, on the wrong time, in the wrong place. That might happen. Yeah. But things got that nothing happens to you. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I know that you have been doing a whole, a whole uh, effort to be here. Also, Carlita. Also, David, look at his face. He wants like, hi. <sighs> Please give me a pillow, teacher, because I'm about to cry. Right? I know. I can give you this pillow. What do you think? Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Can you see it? No, right? Oh, yes. Can you see it? Ah. Oh, my God. Well, I, I think it's because it's exactly the same color of my background, so it's not it's not possible to see. But this pillow is basically like um, um Captain America. Marvel, yeah, the Marvel heroes, Captain America, because my husband loves it. Yeah, so I I gave it to him like a present. I do have I love cartoons, but I love Pikachu. Yeah, I I'm Pokemon, but for the first area, this one's no anymore, right? Yeah, you know what? I will show you something. Give me just a moment. I will show you my brand new acquisition. Just give me a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. Excuse me, Chesson. Okay, I'm coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. Let's see. Can you see? No? Can you see it? Uh, yes, a little bit. A little bit? Oh my God, it's really hard. <laughs> Almost nothing. 
I think I'm going to send you a pictures, guys. Just give me a couple of minutes. Um, but the picture that I'm going to send it to you actually will be my new flip-flops. I'm going to show it to you. Just give me a couple of minutes. Let's see what I have here. I know I have it here in some area. Because I love Pikachu. My 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 um my lingerie and my batch are Pikachu's ones. Alrighty. Okay, I just sent it to you via WhatsApp. Take a look at it. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> yeah, those are my new flip flops. I cannot hear you, Cody. I cannot hear you, Cody. What happened? I think Claudia has problems with the with the sound. We want to see Tim. What happened? In your foot. It's, it's so cute. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. I love it. I love Pikachu. I have Pikachu's t-shirt. I do have the flip-flops. I have my badge. Um, I think I'm gonna get some. Ah, and I have my my key also with Pikachu's. So I love Pikachu. It it is exactly like me. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> you got a lot of energy. <laughs> what about you? Do you have any specific cartoon that you like? Do you like any cartoons? Could be all cartoons or new cartoons. What about you, Alexander? You and me, I think we are from almost the same area or the same generation, if we can say that. Do you have a specific cartoon that you like the most or that you used to like? Winnie Pooh. Winnie Pooh. Winnie the Pooh? But Winnie the yeah. Pooh or, or the or a tiger? No, we need a poo. Why? Do you identify with the with the character? Ah, uh, yeah, I like sweet things. You like it? Do you like honey? Yeah, I like honey. <laughs> you see? <laughs> yeah, we need a poo. All right, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's so cute. <laughs> you look at David. David is David. You're so mean. <laughs> hey, David. What about you? Well, um, in my case, I like anime, and my favorite anime is Naruto. I like Naruto, it. I knew it for sure. I knew it. You have a Naruto face. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Yeah, yeah. But you gotta change your hair color because Naruto is blonde, right? Yes. Uh, uh -huh. the the image that I use in the concept is one character of the anime. Uh -huh. You are that person. I knew it. I was I was double checking. Who's that one? Who's that man? Or one? And now yeah. I knew it. I use the name of the character, and uh -huh. the reason why I, when I send uh, some important messages, I write my name in 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 bracket. Uh huh. Uh, hmm. Brackets. Uh -huh. I, I I write David. <laughs> oh, David. Okay. You know what? I'm already familiar with that because my co-workers, I have a, a co-workers who are really younger, like 20, 25, something like that. So every time that I don't know something, I ask them, hey, you know why, guys? I need some updated information about new generation cartoon, millennials cartoon, right? And I told them, and I asked them, hey, what's this? What's this? What's this? And oh, no, Silvita, this is this and this and this and this. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. So I, I'm going to be on the same page of my, of my students, of course, because I need to be... Uh, Oh, well, knowledgeable about what you like, right? The new generation cartoons, definitely. <laughs> so, Mr. Naruto, okay, awesome. And we have Winnie Pooh and we have Pikachu. <laughs> what about you, Carlita? Do you have a specific cartoon that you like the most? Pioli. Pioli, oh my God, really? What about Sylvester? <laughs> Pioli. No. I, I think no, I Pioli hate. is a terrible bird. It's a managed one. You know what manage is? 
because the cat is uh, annoyed. annoyed. I know, yeah, I like it as well. Those are really old cartoons, you know, I, I, my generation. But you are younger than me and you're younger than Alex. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. Okay, listener, you're listening, right? I hope you're listening. All right, Christian, what about you? Do you have a specific cartoon that you like? Yes. Tell us. Uh, it's uh, Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo! Oh, but which one? Because Scooby-Doo has a different, um, a, I think, cartoons a presentation. The old one or the one that says, Scooby-Doo, where are you? Remember that it was um, a cartoon like that? The old Scooby-Doo. Yeah, not the old Scooby-Doo. Yeah, the new the new one, ah, Scooby, okay. Yes. The new Scooby. Oh, yeah. It's really the like when Scooby was a puppy. I can think. I think so, right? Yeah. Ah, okay, cool. Do you have a Scooby Doo at home? No. No. Ah, but do you no. have a dog, a cat? Mm, I have a cat. I got it. What is your cat's name? Yes. Ash. Ash. Yes. Hey, Ash. <laughs> really? <No. laughs> <laughs> Was it a male or female? What? It's a male or female. That means boy or girl. Ah, uh, girl. Girl. Oh. Yes. I do have a baby girl as well. Her name is Sassy. You know what <laughs> okay. Sassy is? You know what that means, Sassy? Sassy in English, you know what that means? What? Sassy. The name of my cat is Sassy. Ah, uh, okay. It's a baby girl. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. But Sassy means in English... Guapachosa. Ah, okay. <laughs> like she was, she likes to go out for Roomba, right? You see? Oh, she's a terrible cat, but I love her the most. She always makes me massages. Yeah. And she likes to be with me, to to cuddle, cuddle with me. You know what cuddle is? Cuddle with me? You know what cuddle? Do you know what that means? Cuddle? I send it on the on the on the Zoom chat. Cuddle. Do you remember when you were a baby boy and you slept with your mama together on on the bed? Do you remember cuando estabas chiquito y te acostabas con tu mami en la camita y te arrullaba? Yes. Con tu mami, con tu papi, con tu abuelo, con tu abuela, con quien sea. ¿Ve? My, sí. my mother, yes. Ajá, y que te dormías como apapachado. Cuddle. Yes. The cuddle is apapachado. Okay. Okay. Así que te duermes con tu gatico y que te checha la patita y todo. That's a cuddle. See? This is cuddle. Como okay. acurrucarse juntos. Cuddle. All oh, right. Yes. Very good. Who else? Uh, 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 uh. Isabel. Good night, girl. Glendy as well and Luisito. Isabel, we were, we were talking about cartoons. Do you have a specific cartoon that you like the most? Uh, cartoons, no, but anime, yes. Well, we are considering cartoons as well. So tell us about animes. <laughs> uh, I like Inuyasha. Inuyasha? Okay, David, you know that? Because I don't know it. Uh, I heard Inuyasha, right? Inuyasha, she said. Well, I don't know. I don't know. But it's not Naruto's friends. I'm just asking. No, definitely. <laughs> no. Inarashi, you said, right? Isa. Inarashi, you said? Inuyasha. 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 Yes. Ah, okay. I don't I know. Haven't... I don't know it, but if you can send <laughs> an image, maybe we're going to learn what it's about. Okay. Is it a? I don't know. Is it a princess? Is a fighter? I don't know. Is a um, a a man uh -huh. and person and uh, how do you say a bestia? How do you Beast. say? Beast. Be beast. It's beast. a person and beast. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. So it has two personalities. Oof, complicated. All right. Ashi. 
Search it, David. Search it. That will be your job. All right. Thank you, Isa. Carlitos Alberto, what about you? Or Maria Santos? Ida, what about you? What's your favorite cartoon? Yeah. In my case, my favorite movie, movie, in fact, movie, it's a new land. Yeah, and the Carter uh, Mushu. Mushu. It's, uh, it's ah, so Mushu. <laughs> and funny. <laughs> yeah. I loved him. <laughs> ah, yes, he's very funny. Yeah. I was about like this to put it to one of my pet's name, Mushu, instead oh. of whiskey, because whiskey has a huge ears like this. Okay. Like Mushu. <laughs> will be a perfect combination. Yeah, I love yeah, Mulan too. by heart. Me too, Mulan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> pretty beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. What, well, Carlitos? What about you? What's your favorite cartoon? Carlitos, hello. Teacher, teacher, Hi. teacher. Yes, I, a student. I, I go driving right now. Ah, you're driving. No, that's okay. But yeah, let yeah. me know your favorite cartoon. Excuse me, teacher. Okay, don't worry. That's okay. He's driving. He needs to pay attention, right? It's not like we're going to get a crush. No way. And Glendy, what about you or Luisito? What is your favorite cartoon? What are your favorite cartoons? Uh huh, Glendy? My favorite cartoon um, uh, The Beauty and the Best. The Beauty and the Beast. This oh yeah, I like it too. <laughs> oh yes, it's it's an it's an old Disney, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's really nice. I love them. Thank you so much for sharing. Luisito, what about you? Luisito or Sammy or Natalie. I don't know if Natalie is available. Some of you are driving, right? Okay, don't worry if you're driving. Okay, guys, tell me something. Who said the loves Winnie Pooh? Saul Alexander. Mr. Alexander, very good. Who said the love is Scooby Doo? Christian. 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 Very good. All righty. Who said the loves? Uh... What is? It? I forgot. Not teacher. Don't be like that. Who loves Pikachu? Yeah. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. Who knows Hirashi or Dashi that is part of human and part beast? Isabel. Isabel, yeah. I, la Alex. Ah, you didn't run fast. <laughs> okay, almost. <laughs> hey, who's, who loves Naruto? David. Of course, right? <laughs> There's no doubt about it. David. And who also said that loves, let's see, I remember that, which one she said. Ah, who loves Mulan and Mr. Eh, Mushu? Yeah. Ida, exactly. Do I miss something or someone? Um, a girl, I remember she said uh, that she loves the beauty and the beast. The beauty and the beast. Glendy. Glendy, but you're missing one as well. Who I didn't mention? Who I didn't mention? Christian, it says Scooby Doo. Too. Oh, yeah, no, but it's, yeah, Christian, yeah. yeah just... But I didn't mention a girl. One girl I didn't mention. Who was the one I didn't mention right now? Carlita. She participate. What? Carlita. Carlita, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember what she said? Uh, Piolin. Piolin, yeah, exactly. It's a terrible Piolin. bird. <laughs> it is a terrible yes David you're about to say something no oh no um, that the name of Piolin I have seen is Tweety right como Tweety Tweety oh yes Tweety Tweety is in English yes Piolin is, is in Spanish <laughs> ah but this is a terrible bird huh you cannot imagine huh? you know what I love um, Warner Brothers cartoons Especially, um, uh, do you remember Pepe Le Pew? Yeah, it's a, it's a fox that is always uh, trying to kill a, a cat. 
Exactly. So now what, when I was learning French, <laughs> I told my husband, you are the cat and I'm <laughs> and not the other one. <laughs> yeah, I, I always told him that because, because he, he was speaking French most of the time. Yeah, he was like, I was scary about it. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I, I love Pepe Le Pew. It's really nice. It's really nice. But you know what, Alex? I also identify myself with Tiger. Winnie Pooh's best friend. Yeah, Tiger is friend of. He's crazy yeah. by heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. And so that's why I identify myself with that. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It, yeah, yeah. It, it is. She's laughing. I, re I remember when I got engaged and married with my husband. You know what? I remember what you said, Alex, because my husband likes Winnie Pooh. And I like Tigger. And basically, he's like Winnie Pooh. Calm, relax, easy going, man. And I'm the opposite side, my friend. Yeah. God, that's why we get along together. Excellent. Yes, David, you were saying something? I I met um a boy when I was a kid. I met uh -huh. a boy that he was so, so fan of that character. Really? Uh, Tigger? Yeah. No, uh, the other day, the yeah, uh, he was so fun that he was always uh, telling some phrases that he says and drawing all the time that really? character. Ah. So that we, we nicknamed uh, in, that, in that way, Winnie. <laughs> Winnie, oh, <laughs> but tell me, was he a, a little shovey boy or no? Was he shovey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he, was. he was so cute, right? That is the reason we nick nicknamed <laughs> Winnie. <laughs> That's nice. There you go. Okay, you see, we have fun. We were re we were making a refresh of our we can say childhood memories, right? Childhood memories. It's still don't worry, Alex. You and me, I I think we are the grown ups here, but we still have child spirit and child heart. You see, that counts. That counts. Guys, did you practice the conversation by any chance? Ha, ha. Ah, do you think that the teacher forgot that? Hmm? No, 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 no. But I'm going to be a nice teacher, you know? I'm going to play the audio for the conversation so you can, like, warm it up a little bit, right? Warm it up. And then I will put you in pairs so you can practice together. And after that... I will choose my big team, sorry, my participants for today's class. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> no, teacher, it's not. <laughs> All righty, don't worry. I'm going to play right now my audio and let's listen to that conversation once again. So you can just warm it up a little bit. Guys, pay attention of the pronunciation of the expressions and the pronunciation as well of the question and intonations which is really important. There you go. Let me just share my screen. Woohoo! There you go. Exercise seven, conversation. What can we do? Part A, listen and practice. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is. But a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one way to change things is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes. Companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Avox Industries. Really? My uncle is one of their top executives. Whoops. Okay. All right. Let the blood fluid. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay. Let me put you in pairs really quickly. Let me check it out. All right. I'm going to do it manually. Let's see how many we are. 
Where's, no, 15 with me. All righty. First group will be Claudia uh, uh, and Christian. Second group will be Mr. David and uh, da, 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 Carlita. Number three will be Isabel and Mr. Samuel Alexander. All right, let's see. Edam and Glendy. All right. Don't worry if it's two girls, all right? Don't worry about that. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Carlitos and uh, let's see. Maria will be together. What else? Who else I'm missing? I guess I'm missing some more. Natalie and Mr. Lewis. And let's see the last three. All right, we'll be here as Raulito, Rebecca, or John L. and Mr. Isaac. All righty, accept the invitation, please, guys and practice the conversations, okay? I will give you five minutes will be enough for practicing, but please practice. Don't speak about something else. Uh -huh. Please attend the invitation. Accept the invitation, guys. I will I will be double checking if you are practicing. Hey David, you're missing. And also, let's see who else. Rebecca, Maria, you're missing. Raulito, Isaac, Natalie. Let me double. Creí que no me estaba funcionando. Okay, okay. <laughs> Who is that? You and, and me. Um, me. Oh, and, and I. Okay. Um, okay. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there is factory outside. Town, towns that's uh, pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, is it? It is, but uh, a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about about it? Well, one way to change things is uh, to talk to to the company's management management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then another way to stop them is to get a TV station into the room. Who can do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is, but a lot of companies ignore it to law. That's terrible. What can we do about, about it? Well, one way to change things or is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called a box Really? My uncle is one of their top executives. Yeah, and now we can change roles. Okay. Exactly. Opposite way, if you don't mind. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Oops. Uh, pretend that I'm not here. Bye. <laughs> Look at those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside 
town that's pumping chemicals into the river. Well, then another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the... How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is. But a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one way to change things is to talk to the company management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Airbox Industries. Really? My uncle is one of their top executives. Uh, executives. Executive. Executive. Mm -hmm. Executive. Executive. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, let's go. Uh, Welcome back. How was the practice? Was it good? Uh-huh. Isa and Alexander, you were practicing. I like it. Very good job. But you know what? You. What I like the most is when Alexander said, hey, we need to go back. And Isa said, huh. <laughs> like, oops. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> But that's okay. Hey, what, what, where are the rest of the guys? Come on, let's come back home, huh? Now with Glendy, Christian, all righty, very good, Jose. Okay, was it good to practice? Are you ready for the plot to start? Yes, right. And you said, no, I'm not ready. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's do a guess game. A guess game. That means that the teacher is going to think about a number, right? I will give you like a frame. And you let me know a number that come up. And if you guess what the number that I'm thinking, you will be the first participant, okay? Okay, for the first roll. Okay, I'm thinking a number between one and five. Give me one number, Alex. Alexander, give me one number. Seven. Come on, I said from one to five, my friend. Oh, sorry. Oops. Oh, five. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, that was you. not the I one. Okay. You. <laughs> You're safe. You're safe. Okay. Uh. <laughs> and it is like, <laughs> okay. All righty. From one to five, give me one number, David. Two. No. You are safe, my friend. Okay. Give me one number from one to five, uh, Ida. Three. Yeah! <laughs> you are the first one. So it's, yes, don't worry. I'm, now we need to get the boys. The boy, okay, roll. Okay, so I'm going to work with Luis, Saulito, Christian, David. I, Carlitos, I think, is still driving. Okay, I, I will give you a better chance, my friends. From one to ten, give me one number, Alexander. Seven. No, but close. Christian, give me one number. One. No, <laughs> but close. Luisito, give me one number. Hopefully, Luisito is still here. I think. Um, uh -huh. uh, number six. from one to ten. Six. Yes, my man. You're okay. lucky one. <laughs> Ah, okay, so let's listen our first victim, our first party seat for today's role plays. We have Luisito and we have Ida. Hey, we're going to uh, practice the dialogue that I sent yesterday through the WhatsApp. Do you have it handy, Luisito? Uh, well, um, I have, uh, well, in the WhatsApp group, right? Uh-huh, that's right. 
Okay, I I got it. I got it. You got it. Okay, cool. So let's listen, guys. Our first uh, pair, which is gonna be Luisito, and it's gonna be also Ida, right? Okay, let's listen. So okay, the first uh, will be this one. Will be in this case, uh, 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 Luisito. You're gonna be playing the role of Andy, and okay. Carlito, and of course. Ida, you're going to be playing the role of Carlita, I think is the name of the girl. Let me check it out really quickly. No, yes, it's Carla. Okay, so what can we do? It's scenario number one, action. Go ahead. Carlita, you start. Oh, Ida. Okay. Yeah, okay. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside town that's pooping chemicals into the river. How can do? How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is. But a lot of companies ignore this law. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one way to change things is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't doesn't work? Well, then another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Avox Industries. Really? My uncle is on of their top executives. Very good. That's it. Congratulations, not too bad. Good job, my dears. But only one, guys, only one um, pronunciation. Luisito, you, you mentioned you, only this pronunciation. That I almost laughed, but don't worry about it. Pumping. Okay. Remember, you. I heard you said pumping or pooping. Uh, well, um, uh -huh. uh, I... I missed the class yesterday. <laughs> yes, the problem is that when you when you said pooping, for us, it's like the puppy goes to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you know, oh, ah, I, 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 I see remember my, my pups. <laughs> my puppies, yes. So that, okay. Uh, and and uh, what is the correct pronunciation? Pumping. Pumping. Pump, pump. Like, like, it's, pumping. like that you is like with... O and A together, palm, pumping. Pumping. Uh -huh, because pumping is like throwing away the chemicals, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I oh, was okay. so nice. You make me laugh. I like it. Awesome. But good job. Good job, guys. Excellent job. I like it. Very good. Good pronunciation as thank, well. Thank you. And Mr. Lewis, he was thank so you. serious. Hey, hey, were you nervous? A little bit, right? Uh, a little bit. A little bit, of course. <laughs> well, uh, in time. my case, uh, uh, I am a little bit, but um, it's, uh, but it's handy. Actually, I I have uh, more problems to translate uh or speak uh in that in natural way. Natural way, huh? Uh, to 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 learn something. Because uh -huh. I think I think I have more facilities to learn uh, something like I don't know a, a book, a newspaper. Ah, uh -huh. to, but you know uh, what? Speak with another people. But you know what, Luis? Even though you did, it, it didn't sound like that. Actually, you sound pretty natural. Like if you were, uh, if you were like walking with Ida, yeah, and talking about that, that was nice. Okay. Good job. Well, Good job. At least you. You, you did an excellent job, which is really good. Oof, he, he didn't notice, right? He was so natural. Good job, my friend. Excellent job. Another pair. Thank you so much, guys. Another okay. <laughs> participant, right? Another participant. Okay. Um, Give me a number from 1 to 15. Isabel, from 1 to 15. 11. No, but close. Christian. Seven. No. Alex. Three. 
No. David. Twelve. Yes, thank you. <laughs> he was like, what? look at his eyes. And I like <laughs> the first victim. Sorry, the first participant. Okay, let's take it out. Now give me a number. <laughs> From one to four, Isabel. Three. No, Carlita. Two. Yes, thank you, I really appreciate uh. it. You are the best of the best, my friend. I, you're gonna do just fine. Don't worry, relax. Pretend that we are not here, okay? Pretend, but we are here. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All righty. Okay, what can we do as scenario number two? Action. Go ahead. Carlita, you start. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Happening? Well, there's a factory upside down that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is. But a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one way to change things is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called A-Box Company. Really? My uncle is one of their top executives. Wow, very good, very good. Were you nervous? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. No, teacher, I was not nervous. And you were sweating like a pig, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that's nice. Don't worry. That's that's good. That's good. Good job. Good job. I know that in some phrases, in some questions, you're like, oops. What was it? Like, oops. No, but that's okay. But it, it, it was good. Really good job in the pronunciation of the question, Carlita. Good job. And David, I like it. You know what? Because you were like this. You went like this. Like. We, you, you see, your facial expressions shows that you were like really feeling what you were saying. So that's good. Good job. Good, good job, guys. And last but not least, Isabel and Alex. Go ahead, my friends. Ash, she look at me like, teacher, I hate you the most. Okay, go ahead. What can we do about it? X scenario number three. Action. Okay. Look at all that this fish. Why do you think what do you think happened? Mm -hmm. Where well, there's a factory of Saitam that's pumping chemicals into the river. Do that. Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is, but a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one way to change things is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, company hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called A Box Industries. Really? My uncle is one of their top executive. executive. Hey, good job. Good job. Executive. You know what? Very good job. Thank you. I I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous, but that's okay. There you go. You know what I like? That, for example, Isa, you said like, you pronounce it the last, the last word like, I forgot, but what I like is that you correct yourself at the same time, like, like saying, no, it is executive, right? Executive, the good pronunciation. Good job, girl. Good job. Good job, Alex, as well. You were like so sophisticated, man, like a radio boy, you know? <laughs> I like it. I like it. Good job, my friend. Excellent job.
Good job. All righty, you see? That's nice, right? Hey, guys, now we have practice, pronunciation, intonation, etc. How do you feel about this practice? Did you like it? Yes. Yeah. You, you feel more comfortable, yeah. right? I know we need to we're going to do a, a more role plays, okay? Like that. But the next ones I'm going to give, be a little bit harder and tough teacher, you know. Yes. It, it was better it was longer. History, longer. So. Or ladders. Oh, sorry, ladders, ladders. Ah, ladders. but if you want to do that's okay. For me, it's yeah. fine. And I think after the class, everybody will give paranda to Alex, right? <laughs> <laughs> because of him, you're in trouble. Christian, I just, I just got an idea. Just, just in practice. Ah. This is practice. This is that idea. Exactly. Practice yeah, it's, makes it's, perfection. It helps, uh, um, it has, it helps uh, to me, it helps very much too. Yeah, to, definitely. We yeah, need to practice. practice. Yeah. Yeah, my pronunciation. See? Guys, all of you broke my heart. You see? We have it here. Ah, right, there you go. Okay, guys. So now we're going to continue with the speaking information, with the practicing of that, because it's really important, guys, to learn how to pronounce um everything correctly, especially when we are talking about intonation and pronunciation because and and also questions because depends on the questions that you are basically using we need to basically pronounce it in one way or in another have you heard guys about this type of questions that i will let you know Ooh, I forgot that. They have it here, have it here, have it here. Oh, yes. And I pass it on here. Okay, cool. Have you heard about questions of choice? Questions of choice? Have you heard it? That means you have B, A, and B. And you need to select or choice between this and this. So you need to yes. formulate a question of choice. Do you remember, or I don't know if you know, what is the model verb that we use when we are talking about those kind of questions? Are they rather and preferred? Yes, that is part of the questions. But I, you're right about about that. But I, I would like to know the model verb that you use. Do you remember? If you remember, if you don't remember, don't worry. That's okay. Cool. Would. 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 Uh, exactly. I'm nearly. <laughs> yes, a close, 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 close. It close. Yes. Close. There you go. Okay. Guys, what I want you to, to know, we're going to practice right now the, those kind of uh, questions because the, those questions are like this, like the wave. You you know like this? What is this? It's a wave, right? Waving, waving. So basically, those kind of questions that you have that you need to select between one object and, and another or one selection than another, you use like that. You, you put intonation goes up. And then on the second choice, the intonation goes down. It's like this. It's like this. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to select an audio. And I want you guys to pay attention on the, on the part of the question that goes up first. And then I'm going to play the audio again. And on the second time, I want you to take a look on the part of the question that goes down. Repeat it. I will play the questions two times. And the first time, I want you to help me identify what is the part of the question that your voice raise up or pronunciation in a high way. And the second time that I played it, I want you to help me identify which part 
of the question is that you need to pronounce it down. Re Are you ready for that? Hello, my friends. Yes. Are you sure? I don't believe I you. Yes. Are you guys ready for that? Yes, yes or no? I all ears. A little. My friend, why you say ear. that? You should be ready. Okay, I'm going to play the audio one more time. Just on this part, only pay attention to the part of the question that you, the intonation goes up, okay? That's the only thing that I want. Page 51, exercise 3, pronunciation. Intonation in questions of choice. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you prefer to study nursing or education? Would you rather be a psychologist or an engineer? All right. On this first part, first part, which on the first question, what is the word that raises up a little bit? ¿Cuál es la palabra que la entonación va más arribita? Lo, lo cacharon? Did you catch it? Nursing. Nursing. Y en la, y en la segunda, en la segunda, en Engineering. Engineering, ok. Vamos a la segunda. Hoy quiero que pay attention on the part of the question that you pronounce it, eh, the intonation goes down, cuando la entonación va para abajo. Page 51, exercise 3, pronunciation. Intonation in questions of choice. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you prefer to study nursing or education? Would you rather be a psychologist or an engineer? Okay. On the second time, guys, uh, the intonation for the second question was psychologist. So in this case, in this second time, the intonation goes down in which part of the question? Can you Did you catch nursing, it? Nursing, I think. Nursing. Nurse, uh -huh. Nursing, are you sure? Yeah, nursing or... Uh -huh. La entonación va para abajo, ¿en qué parte? ¿En el nursing part o en otra? Education. Education, muy bien. ¿Y en la segunda? Psychology. Segura. Are you sure? 100% sure? No, I don't know. Yeah. No. Ya, no, ya no, tengo no. dudas. Ay, ay, a ver, ¿sabe por qué yo hago eso? Porque you need to be I sure of what yes. you're saying. Self-confidence. Esta teacher es malvada. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, let me share right now my screen with you. Okay. Let's go back. Tell me, uh, uh, do you're, are you able to see right now on my screen? Yes? Oh, you see? Yes. Awesome. Okay, guys, so you see here, would you rather, to? Uh, would you prefer to study nursing or education? La segunda, would you rather be a psychologist or an engineer? You see? Ven que va como que fuera una bolita. Para arriba, para abajo. Para arriba, para abajo. Hey, let's practice, guys. Vamos a practicar. Let's practice. Repeat after me. Would you rather prefer to study nursing or education? Would you rather, Would you study, rather study nursing or education? education? Nursing or education. Again, would you prefer to, no, would you prefer to study nursing or education? You would you prefer study nursing, study nursing, or nursing, or nursing or nursing or nursing or nursing or education? Very good. Number two, would you rather be a psychologist or an engineer? Would you rather, you rather be a psychologist or, or an engineer? 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 Engineer, okay. No, repeat after me. Nursing. 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 Education. Education. Prefer. Prefer. Rather. 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 Psychologist. 
Psychologist. Engineer. 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 Okay. Saben que hay dos E. So, por eso es que la pronunciación es un poquitico más alargada. Engineer. ¿Sí? Démosla otra vez. La primera. Would you prefer to be nursery? No, sorry. Would you prefer to study nursery or education? Would you prefer, Would you prefer, prefer to study nursery, nursery, nursery or, or education? education? Okay, very good. Would you rather be a psychologist or an engineer? Would, Would you, you rather, you rather be, be a, a psychologist, psychologist or, an or an engineer. engineer? Very good. Good job. Okay, guys. So, entonces, when we're talking about intonations of choice or questions of choice, we're going to use would rather and would prefer. Si ustedes se fijan, would rather takes the base form of the verb. Miren, aquí. The base form of the verb sería better to be. And would prefer usually takes, miren, an infinitive. Miren, porque va el to y el study. ¿Se recuerdan que el infinitive es con to y el verbo presente? To study, to learn, to eat, etc. Pero, si ustedes se fijan, both are followed by not in the negative way. Eso lo vamos a ver más tranquilamente el lunes. No se preocupen. No me claven. Y yo, teacher, porque yo casi que yo quiero. ¿Cómo fue? Ok. Don't worry about it. Guys, you see? Very good. La otra vez, necesito would. Would you rather be... Psychologist or engineer, where you prefer to study. Okay? Eso, vamos, intonation, intonation. It's really important. Porque necesito escuchar que you're making a question, not a sentence. So it's really, really good. Good job, guys. Excellent. <gasps> Vaya, ya sé. Ya me pasé dos minutos. Vaya, dicho, goodbye, salud. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Viene, te voy a contar que Alex ya está en el coach. Ya lo vieron. Sí, ¿por qué no enseña? Pero ahí tiene la almohadita a la par y la blanqueta ahí, <risa> la colchita. Te apuesto que el chuchito está ahí esperando de like, Daddy, where are you going to end an English class? Oh, yeah. ¿Verdad? Ahí, ahí está, ahí lo tiene, yo sé. <risa> hasta, te, hasta te apuesto que también tiene los, tiene los headsets del chuchito. Hey, guys, lo que utiliza eh, Alex, eso que está aquí, eso se llaman headsets, ¿sí? ¿Por qué? Porque te cubren la, ca la cabecita y tienes así como los auriculares. Pero en el caso, por ejemplo, de, de Isabo, ¿sí? Y a veces se recuerdan que Jonel también tiene unos que se ponen en el oído, ¿sí? Yes. Eso se llaman earphones. Es, la, la, sirve para lo mismo, ¿ven? Pero earphones es porque te lo metes en el oído y el headset porque te lo pones aquí en tu cabecita. Así como que, que trabajar en un call center. Ah, pues algo así. Very good. Any doubts? Any questions? Algunas preguntas o algunas dudas? Christian, dígame. Yes. In the next week, vamos a seguir trabajando de Monday a sí. Friday. Sí, porque yes. te acuerdas que vamos a salir December 12 y vamos a salir December 14. Pero el Insafor nos ha apurado. Entonces quiere okay. que salgamos antes. That's the reason why. So, my friends, les felicito porque la mayoría ha terminado la platform, which is really good. Congratulations. Los que todavía no, no o necesitan ayuda, please, denle. Háganme, escríbanme, que cuando si yo no les contesto en un ratito es porque I'm busy, ¿verdad? Yeah? Pero si no, yo les contesto no más pueda. Ya van a ver que la Carlita les puede decir que yo les contesto cuando pueda. ¿Verdad? Yeah? Así que, ay, denle. Yes, teacher, thank Oigan, you. no, pues ahí veo yo. Es que vean que ahí me toca la corre, corre. Pero ahí vamos. ¿Sí? Yes. Bye, bye, guys. Hoy sí. Hugs and kisses. Have an amazing night. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher.